welcome back to forte sports make sure you like and subscribe to the channel um there was a lot of stuff going on with ja morant and his so-called entourage and there was an incident with the indiana pacers for what i'm hearing you know there there was some some it was some two cars following the pacers bus and a a, a, a beam was you know pointed at the bus and they say ja morant was in one of the cars and now they said previously during the game him and um the ricky nimhard got into it again because I, I think they got into it a couple of weeks ago if i'm not mistaken they got into it again and i think i saw some of that entourage of ja morant when they was confronting shannon sharp because i did see two guys come from another end um try to get in shannon sharp's face i don't know who those two guys were i don't know if that was part of john morant's click because i know his dad came from another direction but um if this is and it sounds like it is john morant's entourage because he claimed that was his brother that they suspended he, he suspended from all grizzlies home games and i agree with what shannon sharp was saying as well because he went on, on uh, undisputed and, and said some stuff that i agree with you're a multi-millionaire right now why are you surrounding yourself with this because this could backfire in your face because there's they said the ray lewis example i can go a step further look at the young man in alabama look at the young man in alabama the, um i forgot his name but it's recent this recently happened where he gave a weapon to one of his friends and they end up taking the life of a young lady look at that crap you can even talk about um a gate to lead from formal nfl cornerback and i actually like uh to lead but the one thing i noticed about him i didn't see any growth he still was doing the same stuff you know always fighting other players and stuff like that which i didn't mind him as a young man but when he got older it kept happening he always came off as you know he can't control his emotions and if you don't know what happened um last year he was he he was part of a football program i mean team something like that with pop warner football and they had a game and the fight broke out against the other team coaches and it it really escalated to where that you see the video you can go check it out to leave and his 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 uh, entourage were attacking one guy and the one guy had to do, uh, fend himself off the goal um what they call that the um i forgot the little sticks where you they do the first down and stuff like that they, um he was swinging it and to brother pulled out a weapon and ended this man's life and this man's child was present there yes this young man got saw his father get 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 taken from this world and it was a very graphic um video and so this was all on to lead he will have to live with that for the rest of his life and so what my my, my point is john morant has to be smart about who he he surrounded himself with now i don't know how much if his father will be getting involved in this hopefully he will but yes you got to be smarter than this yet i agree with shannon sharp stop trying to be a thug you know you have a child you're a father you got kids look at you look up to you you don't have to please the, the whoever this is in your entourage and if this is this is this could easily could have backfired in his face because ja morant you may have restraint you may have restraint from stuff but those guys you got in your entourage may not look at like i said look at talib his brother did not have no restraint Look at the boy at Alabama. His friend did not have no restraint. They look what look what, what happened. So hopefully this is a lesson learned. I hope because I love Ja Morant as a player. I think he's a fantastic player, and I like that he has an edge. But don't take it to the extreme where you have to go do stuff off the court like that. I hope it does not happen. But post comments. Let me know what you guys think. I get you guys later.